Yowza ladies and gentlemen, my name is Senior Vibido34, aka Kyle the Car Current on Source, and I'm here today to speak about uh, a particular topic that I've been looking forward to speaking about, and it is a and it is the uh, possibility of Spinosaurus aegypticus having feathers. Yes, you heard me correctly, having feathers. Now, for all those who don't know, Spinosaurus was a gigantic genus of dinosaur. It was part of the Spinosaurid uh, family that lived around 95 to 100 million years ago in northern Africa. It was up to 15 to 18 meters long, probably weighed around 8 to 11 tons. It was a quadrupedal dinosaur, only rarely probably running on its bipedal stance, probably just to run away from, from more uh, intimidating predators or to chase down prey maybe. Um, it was a pescivore, meaning it was a fish eater, and the um, the first remains of this creature were found back in 1912, and uh, sadly those remains were destroyed in World War Three. However, in 2014, a nearly complete skeleton was found. It had all the intact, uh, it had intact legs, arms, neck, vertebrae, uh, back vertebrae, tail vertebrae, parts of the skull, teeth, claws, everything you could really need for a skeleton. And this really painted a different picture than what we thought. But you know something? This dinosaur is a really cool dinosaur. Do not underestimate this dinosaur. It was a very vicious hunter. So yeah, if you ever came across this, you were dead. <laughs> but um, yeah. And I think about the feathers. Now the reason I say that Spinosaurus may have had feathers is because... Um, first of all, it was an aquatic di well, a semi-aquatic dinosaur. And I reckon it would have had duck-like feathers to help it swim through the water, which is which is not that bizarre, because look at what we've got today. We've got birds that live in the water today. We've got uh, ducks. We've got coots. We've got um, the, or the odd herring. We've got gannets. And all their feathers are very, very, th very streamlined, very close to the body. So I reckon Spinosaurus may have had, had those feathers probably most of his body... Um, I would exclude. I'd probably exclude the um, the feet and the hands, and uh, maybe the spine. The spine may have had some other purposes, maybe to firmer regulate, or maybe as a display mechanism. Um, and I definitely, I think I'd exclude the face as well. Um, but yeah, I think definitely Spinosaurus had these had these feathers, and the reason I say that is because dinosaurs, most dinosaurs would have had feathers. I mean, it showed up early in the. Um, in the Jurassic or well, Tri Triassic period, and went all the way through to the Cretaceous period. So there's no doubt that nearly every dinosaur had feathers. Spinosaurus may have not has had as many feathers, but I do believe that this creature may have had feathers, basically on its body. Now, there's a dinosaur known as Concavenator that lives in that used to live in Europe. It was a Carcharodontosauridae. Um, around the time of Spinosaurus you would have had many different Carcharodontosauridae I think living at around the same time maybe not in the same uh, places like uh, Giganotosaurus, Mapusaurus and Tyrannotitan lived in South America but Carcharodontosaurus, the genus that is the that the family is named after lived with Spinosaurus and, and at the time Carcharodontosaurus was the top predator there now Concavenator was actually found to have uh, uh, basically these notches or knobs on its uh, forearms and these can be found in turkey vultures as well so a type of bird and basically this means that concavenator had feathers and there's so many other dancers that had feathers but with this evidence I can definitely confidently say that Spinosaurus definitely had feathers in my opinion and that is because I've also got this picture up here which has Spinos, which has a Spinosaurus spine from the, I think this is from the specimen that was found in 2014. 
or no, hang on, it was the no. This one is the uh, original specimen, the holotype specimen, and you can see there's little notches on it. I think this is a artist re recreation of the uh, of the skeleton. There's some notches and holes on it. Now, I now these could these could actually be different. This could be muscle attachment or blood vessel attachment. Maybe something else. Um, I do believe, or maybe some like erosion to the bone or something. I don't know, but um, I do believe that. These actually could be holes where uh, feathers actually attached to the body, and maybe Spinosaurus's sail was actually like a display, and maybe the feathers actually sat on the sail. So this is this could be evidence of Spinosaurus actually having feathers, and this could mean that these animals, maybe a lot of these animals, may have been semi-aquatic, meaning they would have all had these kind of feathers uh, for help to help them be streamlined in the water and to swim in the water, and maybe to. And maybe even to, uh, I don't know, maybe float, possibly. But uh, I, I, I certainly doubt that. Maybe even for a, a, a creature the size of Spinosaurus, I mean, 11 tons, that's going to be quite hard to float in the water. But then again, whales do it today, but they are mammals. And basically, and crocodiles can do it, dinosaurs can do it. So maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. But um, if you agree with me that's fine if you don't agree with me that's fine everybody has an opinion i'd like to know about your opinion in the comment section down below thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed and i shall see you later bye bye